Hey guys, so I have a little tip for you to reduce your GPU temperature by like 20 degrees Celsius. At least that's what it does for me. So let's go ahead and look at what we have here in my settings. And I'm playing Fortnite on 1080. As you can see the settings, I got everything up top just kind of turned off and unlimited DX12. And then I have basically epic settings. Everything's all the way up. The only thing I don't have on is nanite and ray tracing, which doesn't matter for this test. I just want to show you guys the difference in temperature here. So we're going to go ahead and start a game. And with this one little tip, this one little trick, I'm able to reduce my CPU temperature by 20 degrees Celsius. And I'm also to reduce the... Uh, the percentage used in my GPU, how hard my GPU is working. And that will also make it so that there's no thermal throttling, there's less stutters, everything runs a lot more smooth. So it's a very, very simple thing to do. I never really thought about it in the past. I've always kind of used this setting. And then I kind of have been using it and I figured it out. I'm like, oh, that's what it's doing. So let's get into the game and I'll show you what's happening. If you guys haven't done this before, you need to do it. All right, we're landing here just now, and as you can see, my GPU is at 99%, basically 100%, and I am at 81C. This is a pretty graphically intense area. Let me go ahead and find somewhere to hide so I can change my settings. Hopefully there's a bush somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, we're at 99, 98, 94%. And 81 degrees. 82 degrees we were just at. 99, 82. So let me go ahead and hide in this bush. So now what I'm going to do, go back into settings. And I've used these settings for a long time. I have a 1080 by 60 hertz monitor. So let's go ahead and set the frame rate to 60. And I also just turn on VSync because my monitor is 60. So both of these settings, I'm going to turn these on and just watch what happens. Right now my GPU fans are howling. I'm at 82 degrees. And... What's going to happen when I get any much higher, I think my uh, GPU starts th thermal throttling around 83 to 90. I forget exactly what I have it set at, but we're at 99%. So let's turn this on, click apply, and then go back to the game. Now check that out. Instantly, I'm at 78% and I'm at 70C. Now I have a 60 hertz monitor, so this is perfect for me. I can play this game and it's buttery smooth. I never have any thermal throttling. And what that does is it makes your GPU say, hey, I don't have to go any higher. You know, lots of people leave that uh, stuff turned off so they can see how high their FPS goes. But that's making your GPU work as hard as possible to get as much FPS as possible. Now my GPU is saying, hey, I've only got to get 60. And we can hold 60 really, really easily. So now I went from 82 to 66. Let me just run around a little bit here. We're in a really graphically intense area, but we're down... Uh, from 82 to 66, what is that? 16 degrees, 17 degrees now, 18 degrees now. If we get to 62, we'll be down 20 degrees. And yeah, I'm changing areas. I'm trying to get down 20 degrees. But we're at 77% now. My fans on my GPU have turned off. So that basically tells your GPU you don't have to try to get higher. Just work as hard as you need to stay at 60. And that'll make your computer quieter. It'll make you not have any stuttering from thermal throttling and it'll make just everything run smoother. Now if you have like a 120 or 160 hertz monitor, yeah of course you might you know want to set that higher, but even so maybe you're you know uh, not doing that and maybe you're playing at 120 or so but maybe it's going up to 150 and it's trying to get 170 here and there. Well that's going to make your GPU run harder, run at almost maximum all the time Whereas if you set that uh, vertical sync, there we go, 62, 20 degrees Celsius cooler. And I get the same gameplay, you know, and my frames are just stuck at a certain level, and it's so much better. So if you guys have never messed with this, and you didn't really think about this, I never thought about it for a long time. I've almost always used these settings, just because I'm like, I got a 60 FPS monitor, so let me set it. People often said, my video card runs so hot, and I'm like, mine doesn't. I'm like, what are you talking about? And that's why, because the video card doesn't have to try to run so hard because it's just only trying to get what you tell it to get to. So give that a try guys. If you've done it before, let me know you've done it. If you haven't done it, give it a try. Give me a comment and let me know how it worked out for you. But that saves me 20 degrees Celsius. Makes my computer so much more quiet because my fans are like, I can't even hear them now. Whereas when that was at 99% and 82 degrees, it was like a jet in here. Now we're down 21 degrees for a second. There we are. So. Anyways, give that a try. Let me know in the comments what you think, and uh, we'll see you all later. Happy gaming.